Hi, I'm Gary Glass. I'm the director of the American Home Brewers Association. I'm teaching you how to make beer at home. In this segment, we'll prepare our beer for bottling. I've got some beer that I've actually already made, a batch of the Hefeweizen. So we will use this pre-fermented beer for our bottling today. I've still got the sanitizer in our bottling bucket from when we were doing the, the last segment. And so I'm gonna use this, this sanitizer to sanitize all of our equipment. I've got about two thirds of a cup of water that's boiling. It's gonna boil for 10 minutes. I've already got it boiling now. And then we're gonna stir in some corn sugar. I've got three quarters of a cup of corn sugar, also known as dextrose. And what this is for is to prime the beer before it goes into the bottles. And the reason you do that is that that adds sugar to the beer that the yeast that's still in the beer is going to ferment in your bottles. Once the bottles are sealed, that yeast will activate, consume the corn sugar, it's gonna carbonate the beer in the bottles. So we're getting natural carbonation. Five gallons of beer is gonna make 50 12 ounce bottles of beer. So we need to sanitize all the bottles. These are clean bottles that I bought from my local homebrew supply shop. You can also use recycled bottles. If you've drank the beer already, you can soak it in some ammonia uh, over, overnight or so. That'll clean the bottles. It'll also make it so that the, the labels on the beer, uh, beer bottles will come right off. Uh, so it's a nice little trick for reusing the bottles. Uh, you don't have to buy your own bottles. It's a little extra work, uh, but it's pretty easy to do and it's a good way to uh, reuse bottles as opposed to having to purchase new ones. So I'm gonna remove the water from the boil. So that's sanitized. I can add the sugar in. Okay, so we'll let that sit for about 10 minutes. That will sanitize the sugar for us. In the meantime, we can start sanitizing the rest of our equipment and our bottles. So we just take our bottling bucket, which already has the sanitizer in it, and I'm gonna transfer it into the, the kettle that we used. So I'm just gonna use that to store the sanitizer to sanitize everything else. Just gotta make sure that all the surfaces of the, that bottling bucket come in contact with the sanitizer. I wanna sanitize our hydrometer because we're gonna take a hydrometer reading of the finished beer. And sanitize our bottle filler and we need to sanitize our racking cane. Now this is a little tricky because we're gonna to need to start a siphon with this thing. Take the, the cap off of that. The cap on the end of the racking cane keeps it above the yeast that's settled at the bottom here. So you're gonna to wanna to use this on the, on the racking cane when you make your siphon. The way you wanna keep this siphon going is you could fill this with water to start with, seal that on, got your end sealed for now. We can just stick those right into the sanitizer. I'm gonna get my hose all sanitized. Sanitize the cane. You're also gonna to wanna to sanitize all of your bottles too. So with this sanitizer, you can just stick them in here. We can just sanitize each one of these bottles like so. We also will need to sanitize our bottle caps. So we're just gonna take a bowl of this sanitizer and dump our bottle caps in there. So we've got our, our racking cane, it's filled with water. We need to sanitize the inside of it. So I'm gonna place the bowl on the floor and then I'm gonna siphon the water out and it's gonna pull the sanitizer through. You wanna make sure that whatever you're siphoning from has to be higher than what you're siphoning into. Put this down in the bowl, let that go, and we've got sanitizer flowing through. So our racking cane is clean. Now I'm gonna open up our fermenter and you see a little bit of gunk around the edge here. That's perfectly okay. That's just a byproduct of the fermentation process. So we'll drop our, our hydrometer into the beer and get our final gravity reading. And what that's gonna tell us is the difference in, in density between our original gravity reading, which we noted was 1049, and our final gravity, which is right around 1017, which is fine for this beer. A little under 5% alcohol probably. Now we've got a rack and cane full sanitizer. Stick the rack and cane into the beer and we're gonna pull the sanitizer through via siphon and that's gonna, that's gonna bring the beer into the siphon. You don't want the, the sanitizer to go into your bottling bucket. Run the siphon until all the sanitizer comes through and then we'll clip the hose shut again. See, now I've got beer coming through. You can transfer it into our bottling bucket before we open that up, we want to put our corn sugar into the bottling bucket. And then as the beer fills up, it's going to mix 
that corn sugar in with the beer. So it'll be thoroughly mixed by the time we go to bottling. Okay, so we're just about down to the bottom. Uh, don't want to pick up any yeast. You can see a few chunks coming through there. Cut off the siphon and we're done with this portion of the segment. Next up, we're going to bottle the beer.